Welcome to our special Easter season series where by the special grace of God we throw light on the true meaning of the season. We try to give an in-depth analysis and understanding of what Easter is all about. On YouTube, we'll be loading them on for you. And on Facebook, they are there as well. We'd like to encourage you to take time out to listen to them. Romans 10, 17, faith coming by hearing and hearing the word of God. We are here to say to you that God loves you so, so very much. And that is the main reason for this season. God's love for you and for me. And we have been encouraging you to give your life to Jesus Christ. That is, if you have not, we have been encouraging you to embrace the Christian faith. That it will do you good. That in fact, it is the medicine you need for all situations. In Nigeria, there is a popular medicine they will always be <laughs> parading about. They say, good when you see, good for this, good for that, good for this. <laughs> The first time I began to hear that um, advert, I said, how can one medicine, you have JD, JD, you have pile, you have um, uh, waist pain, back pain. <laughs> I just smiled. That is man's advertisement for you. But the truth of the matter is that Christ is the solution to whatsoever challenge, whatsoever problems, whatsoever it is you are going through. And if you're on top of your situation, no challenge whatsoever. So maintain your position, your winning position. That is, that is not ill-gotten. To have your joy and your peace complete, you have need of Christ. And so we are here to say to you that God loves you. God loves you so, 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 so very much. We'd like to start by reassuring you and reminding you of the love of God for you and for me. The hymnal we sang, S, S and S, Secret Sons and Solus, hymnal one, talks about God's love for us, how he had loved our fathers in the time past, when they were in distress and out of distress, how he's slow to chide, how he's swift to bless, how he's glorious in his faithfulness. We bring this continued gentle reminder. Are you out there? You are believing. You already know him. Don't ever forget where you are coming from. Sometimes we lose faith. Sometimes we get so comfortable that we forget where we are coming from. Don't forget. Don't forget that you were ransomed. You were healed, restored, and forgiven. Let's not be too comfortable in our comfort zone. Let's go out and tell others. What we see happening in our churches today is most of the time not um, witnessing. It is just cross carpeting Movement from one church to the other. There is still so many souls out there. Let's go out. Let's go out there. Let's go out there. For some time too, God has been speaking to me on going out for a one-to-one -one evangelism. I used to do that in the time past, be on crusades, go on one-to-one, -one, but for some time I've not done that. God is saying, let's go back. Let's go back to that mandate of preaching the gospel one-to-one. -one. In those days, in the bus, you will hear A teaching, a preaching, a short word. On the streets, you see tracts given to you. All of those are fading out. Let's not allow them to fade out. Let's go back and do something about it. So the love of God is so real. Let's spread that love. Let's share that love. And like we have said, Abroad, a lot of churches are being sold. If you see, if they place an advert, they say building for sale with a high roof. They are talking about a 
church for sale. The churches are closing. Let us not allow the church doors to close. Like we have said, online TV is very good. But let's also pay attention to the church building. Let's pay attention to fellowshipping with one another. I have brothers, no matter what, no matter the cold, no matter what, don't play with that. And you see, they are buying up the properties. In your time and in my time, let's not allow the short doors, the church doors to be shut. Let's go for evangelism. Let's tell more about Jesus. More. More about Jesus. Tell them more. More. More about Jesus. More of his saving fullness. More of his love who died for us. Let's go out there. Let's, let's preach the gospel. Let's not forsake the garden of the church. On YouTube, we did a series on the church. The importance of the church and why we must fellowship. Online TV is good. You press the button. <laughs> you know, you have so much, so many stations at your peak at the touch of a button. That does not make for a good fellowship. It is good that you must have a pastor under you. And are you out there? You don't have one. You don't know Jesus. We present to you again the reason for the season. The reason for the season is that God loves you so much that he sent his only begotten son Jesus to die for you. We are saying embrace that love of Christ. Embrace that love of Christ. We will not repeat the messages the past week we have been loading on why Christ came. Go and check them out. We just want to say for you who do not yet know or you are just coming across our message for the first time. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We have sinned. You say, no, I didn't steal. I didn't commit adultery. I didn't do this. Psalm 51 describes it adequately that in sin did where we conceive. When man fell in the garden of Eden, Genesis chapter 3, we lost the dominion mandate. And the same nature became embedded in man. So that same nature is in us. Nobody teaches the child to begin to do evil. It is inherent in that child. It is inborn. So you have need of that love. Are you out there? You don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. We present him to you again. He is the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, 6. How do you accept him? How do you make your way straight and right? How do you stay focused on him? Very simple. Acceptance of that which was done on the cross. The Easter season is about Christ going to the cross to shed his blood for you and for me. That blood is the atoning sacrifice. We have done a series on redemption. The blood has redeemed you, has saved you, has bought you, has, ha, has reconciled you, has made over, make over for you. And so we are saying this time, I don't know what time the clip will meet you, but at whatever time it is, remember that there is one that loves you so, so, so much. So much is going on out there and there's so much suicide rates. We are saying don't go that way. Christ is the medicine. Christ is the answer to all that you need. Luke 6, 33 tells us, he says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything else. What are you looking for? It is found in the person of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. How do you accept him? How do you embrace him? Very simple. The price has been paid for you. You are redeemed by the blood. There is a film, The Passion of the Christ. If you watch it, it will give you an in-depth detail of all that transpired at the cross. And in case you don't know, you want to read, or you can come across the film, but it's on online. If you type it, Passion of the Christ, it will come up. Or YouTube, it will come up. Or just go to the Bible. The book Bible is better for you. Read Matthew chapter number 26, 27, 28. It has the account of the death of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. Or on the audio, on the Android with the 
audio phone, you can play it and hear it and see how it went, the price he paid. So you don't pay a price, I don't pay a price. All we do is accept. And so I present to you our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ this day. And I say, please accept him if you have not. You may repeat after me. The process is very simple. Acceptance. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. The minute you say that that's all, your sins are forgiven. We will bring a clip to you on the assurance of salvation. The devil will bring you a lot of accusations. Don't bother. Just accept. Get a Bible. When you get a Bible, the book Bible, very, very important. Sit, look, study. Study. And the Android is very good. Listen. Download the audio. Play the word. When you are eating, you are cooking, you are sleeping, play the word. Play the word. Romans says, 17 faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. And as you do that, and you make the word a standard for living, not that pastor, not that pastor's wife, not the preacher, but the word of God, not the world system. So much perversion in the world system. That's why I say, before you begin to listen to anybody, so much. The devil has church now. You see, church of Satan self. <laughs> You see the rainbow church, so many church that preach some gospel that is outside that of the original. So to get to know the original, start with the word, undiluted word. Don't listen to anybody. Just get the word, read. Then with that, by the time you now begin to listen to messages, your antenna will be synthesized already. You know the truth and you know when there is an error in teaching. Thank you so very much for streamlining with us. And like we have said, online TV is just an introduction. You have need of a pastor. On YouTube, Church on the Air, Band of Love Mrs. International, we have also made a series on your pastor. There is a pastor waiting out there to receive you. A church, a body of Christ waiting out there to receive you. Thank you so, so very much for streamlining with us. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake. General Vasya Ban of Love Mysteries International. It is a great honor and a great privilege to minister to you. Check us out on Facebook. We have five vibrant pages. Search the scriptures. When you pray and I pray, there is a God to answer. Ministers of the Truth, Nation Building. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. On YouTube, we are there for you. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so, so very much. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. May his containers of favor, of mercy, of peace never leave us all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the God of this season visit your home with his peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so, so very much. <laughs>